Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to take a look at the notification settings in Windows 10. Uh, what's nice about checking the settings now is that with the minor updates, pretty much everything that we look at now will be good for the future and has been good for the last few uh, updates as nothing much has changed. So notifications, um, these are what pop up here on the right side in the quick actions. Uh, you will often have some notifications that are going to pop up and uh, this is going to show up here in notifications. Of course, at the bottom you have the uh, different buttons and the quick actions. So you go into your settings, start and go into settings. Here you will go into system and then on the left side, notifications and actions. First of all, there's a uh, general switch for notifications. It's here. If you turn this off, no notifications are going to come from any apps on your PC and everything's going to stay quiet. But it's fun to also have notifications from apps. So you see here at the bottom all the apps that are off. I like to have notifications, but only of specific apps. And then that means you will have to choose on the bottom list of the different apps, the ones that you want notifications from. For example, here, no, I don't hear. Uh, I might want to have, um, you know, nothing. I don't want to have feedback hub here. Um, might not, the rest is okay here. Suggested, uh, turned off, and uh, Skype is okay. So these are the ones that I'll keep, for example. And the more you have apps installed in your computer, the more app by app notifications you have to turn on or off. Every time you install a new app, remember that notifications are on automatically. You'll have to go and turn it off if you don't want notifications from a new app that you might have installed. Now you have show notification on the lock screen, which is uh, something that you can get if you actually don't use your PC for a while or if you just log out of your user. Uh, and you have just a lock screen displayed, you can have some notifications on the lock screen. Some people will turn this off for the simple reason that some notifications can actually be sensitive information, which means in a, in a work environment, for example, you might want not want the lock screen to show any notifications. Then you have reminders and incoming calls. You have uh, playing sounds if you want to have a sound or not with notifications. Removing the check mark would make it quiet. And uh, you can actually also, one of the things that I often do is remove the show me Windows welcome experience, uh, remove the suggested ways I can finish setting my device, and I always remove get tips, tricks, and suggestions. This actually removes the amount of annoyances that you might get in Windows 10. So uh, these are all the information of notifications. This is how it is. Two things are going to be, and we're going to take a look at one particularly in the uh, in the uh, specific video, which is focused assist settings. Focused assist will also work paired with your different apps for the uh, notifications, meaning that it can adjust itself to give you notifications of uh, specific apps only when at certain times or not when you're doing something, for example, when you're gaming, you might not want to have notifications popping up while you're gaming, stuff like that. Uh, it could be while you're working in some specific apps. Focus Assist can control the amount of information that these apps will have. Also, when you click an app in the notifications, you can actually have it show different types of info and change its priority which is its importance. So for example, you can show notification banners, which will pop up from the bottom right. You can show notifications in Action Center when you actually look at the Action Center. You can hide content from the lock screen. You can play a sound or not. You, the number of notifications that's in the Action Center can be changed. And also the priority, which is top, which means it's always on top of the Action Center. Hi. This is a high priority notification, meaning that if you choose to add rules and focus assist to prevent notifications, the ones that are a high priority 
can still go through because they are more important for you. And then there's normal, which is below pri priority. Notifications in the action center will be in the last uh, notifications you'll see. So all of that can be done and it's an app by app thing. And one thing that you don't have in Windows 11 that you have in Windows 10 is edit your quick actions because there's the quick action buttons in Windows 10, which are gone in Windows 11. And of course you can pin which ones you want there and remove the ones you don't want. So uh, this is the uh, edit your quick actions buttons. So these are the buttons, once again, that when you click here, you see at the bottom of the Quick Action Center. So that's how you control your notifications. Of course, a specific video will be done on Focused Assist uh, so that you understand a little more how it works and what it means to change the Focused Assist options. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.